It may happen sometime because of some uncertain reason. Your hard disk of your server crashes. You lost your application. It may also happen that you lost your valuable database. So it's a very good practice to keep backup of almost every important thing from your server. But almost every backup application is either paid or not well. So here is the solution given by Spassi and Freak. This package is written by Freak and the package name is Laravel Backup. This package is extremely famous, 2.3 million downloads and is extremely easy. How we are going to work with this package and what this package is going to do, this series is all about that. So let's first go to the documentation of this package which is here on this website. So let's open this website and here we are on the Laravel backup documentation. So let's quickly set up the environment and then we will talk about this later. So let's quickly grab this package via Composer but to have that we need to install the Laravel first. So I will simply say Laravel new backup it will create a fresh Laravel application. And now Laravel is installed so let's open this application in VS Code. So let's grab the VS Code here and then let's grab this application and let's quickly open the integrated terminal and run this command composer require spasi laravel hyphen backup so yeah while this is installing let's check out the next step for the next step we need to publish configurations and other related things to this package so i will copy this command and let's just wait for this to complete and now the package is installed in our Laravel application. Let's run this command to publish the configuration and some other things. So what this command has done. So now this command has published config backup.php file and some language related things. So let's first check the resources lang and inside vendor we have all the list of different language on which you can use this package. So it's interesting to know that Hindi is also given here. That's very cool. Now let's check out the configuration. So here is the config folder and here is the backup.php file. We will check the configuration file in detail but before that let's first check how we can take the backup. So I'm here on a fresh Laravel installation and let's see how we can take the backup. So here we have on the documentation taking backups. So we just need to run this command php addison backup run super easy. So hit run and now we are having the errors. What this error is all about. So first thing we can see it says that root localhost is not defined. Actually this package is trying to backup the MySQL database but we don't have the connection. So I already have created a database called backup. So let's connect that to our Laravel application and I will say backup and password is password for my SQL and I will quickly migrate things so that we will have the database. So let's open SQL Pro here and backup database and now we have the tables. That's cool. Now let's see once more I'm going to hit that command. So clear everything, hit run and yeah, you have seen that it is dumping the database, it determined the files to backup, zipping everything and we have a total of 204.95 KB of backups and it is backup in our local, that means on our Laravel application, created zipped file and saved in local but it has failed sending the notification. Why is that? We will see this also. So let's check out where we get the backup. So we can see we have this storage and app and here we have the Laravel and here we have the backup. So let's open this directory in finder and let's see what actually we are getting from this backup. So here we are and here we have the Laravel and this is the zip file. Now if I open zip file we have two things db dump which is actually the database file 
and users drive bit fumes local packages backup and all the laravel application but we cannot see the vendor folder here so why is that now let's check out the configuration and then we will get the answer of all our questions so this backup.php configuration is very descriptive so it's first check the name of your application then it has the source file so what you want to include in your backup so files it is going to include is including base path so when you say base path this means the application path so it will grab all of these things but it will exclude vendor folder and node modules folder so because vendor folder comes from the composer install command we will not going to backup ever the vendor file and same with the node modules and that's the reason we are not having the uh, vendor directory in our backup and this is very interesting thing next we can see we have the follow links what is this follow links it is actually about the sim links we create suppose you create a storage link now in your public directory we have the link for the storage which is actually the link for this public directory so if you want to have this sim link also on your backup then you can say true here okay let's move forward in this configuration so yes you can define different things like which table you want to exclude from your uh, database backup so you can exclude something from the database like this on the mysql and you can also define which database you have actually so i'm using the mysql you can also have the options to back up the postgres sql sqlite mongodb also that's very interesting then we can prefix something for our database files and we can store uh, on different disk at a same time so local means inside this uh, uh, storage folder you can also do s3 and then you need to configure it also and if you have other uh, disk or uh, file system so if you go into this config file system you can see we have diff different information about disk so local disk public disk s3 and if you can add other then that will also going to work so you can define the disk where you want to back up the backup okay so next is temporary file so if you can open storage app you can see we have the backup.temp it is just a temporary directory where this package is going to put some files for short period of time while it is processing everything then we can have the notifications it has the notification for almost every kind of events like backup failed unhealthy backup was found cleanup failed backup successful healthy and cleanup was successful then it can notify you via different channels like from mail from slack and that's the reason we are getting this error it says sending notification fail because our mail is not configured so if i open .env file and I'm going to set up the mail on MailTrap. So let's go to MailTrap.com and here I'm going to set up the MailTrap quickly so that we can check the email sending information and then username comes here. Then password comes here and encryption TLS from sartak at bitfumes.com and name comes name that's cool and now i just need to make sure i will run backup once more and if i run backup you will see that it's doing things and now it is taking time because it's sending the email and email is sent so now we can see we have successful new backup of your application called laravel and here hello great news application backup is done everything information is there so this is extremely easy package and not only this you can have various options you just can set up backup your db the database you, if you don't want to backup all the laravel application you just want to backup your database not the files not the laravel application that is also going to work so now you can see we have a two different uh, uh, 
backup so one is two one two kb and one is one kb one kb is for database because we don't have anything inside database and next is you can configure anything yeah as i told you from this config file and this is extremely useful but you are thinking that uh, sarthak do i need to run every time or um, do i need to open my server and uh, then go to the directory and run this command no we don't have to do this because we can use laravel scheduler to schedule running this command every day every week every month whatever you want and whatever the frequency you want to back up so in the next episode we are going to see how we can use the cron jobs to set up the backing up of your uh, application your database using this package this command in your laravel application with uh, laravel scheduler so we will meet in the next episode and if you like this episode and you want to share this with others share it with others on facebook twitter instagram linkedin you can also follow me on these platforms at bitfumes and at sarthak savvy and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye